Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create select boxes and select boxes simply allow you or allow users to select one option and they are pretty much are created the same way as or marked up the same way as they are said they, sele they are select boxes which allow users to select one option so if you listen to what I said, so select tag is used to create these select boxes. So select opening tag and select closing tag. Select, sorry guys, select closing tag. And we can add as many options as we want inside the select closing opening tag and inside the select closing tag. And to add some options which user could be able to select in our this select box we use option opening tag and option closing tag for each option which we would want user to allow to select so we use option okay opening tag and option closing tag and this is one option for example you would want to, to allow user to select cars you could add in first option select simply select and then we to duplicate in notepad plus plus you simply go in in between the line which you would want to duplicate you use uh, click control and then click d hold down control and click d and it will duplicate line so we created another three options uh, two options and I will say select car BMW for example BMW and one more car Audi Audi okay and now if we save this and we preview now it in browser this is from previous video you see we have created select box which has select as first option as you remember we had first option and I named it select if we would say select car this would be appearing in this select box let's save it preview and you see it select car if we click on it we can select a bmw or audi and preparing you for backend development i will straight away tell you that you can when you will be working with backend technologies like php in uh, and collecting data to, uh, to store in database at the select opening tag you will use attribute name and you could give this particular select box some name so you could refer its values and save them in database so we could give this uh, this select box name cars for example okay and when we would be writing php script or you can, can check my php tutorial which i haven't actually created at the time i'm recording this particular video because i'm going to create it and start it shortly as well in one two days time then you will see that by using this name attribute we are able to get all these values out and save in database and to do this we need to each option to add value attribute as well value is equal to and for example this will be we, we could leave this empty because select cards this is just uh, allowing user to select but it's not actual actual value which user will select from this particular select box but for value for example for BMW we could specify BMW okay and for value value for our OD we could specify OD and guys I'm telling you these things because you will understand this why I'm using these name attributes value attributes when you will start doing PHP or any other pro backend scripting language you will see that it's all scripting all programming languages which store in database they pretty much use these name attributes and value attributes to get values from these form fields which I'm showing in all my videos and but that's why I'm explaining you so when it when you will be finished with this HTML5 and CSS3 
videos you and start working on PHP and databases you will understand why I was telling you about these attributes as well so it's not a surprise for you these attributes so each select box has name attribute and that name attribute would refer to this particular se se select box we could refer this select box in our backend script or backend programming language uh, program which we have written to get data from what user have selected in here and each option would be like specified with this value and this value we could store in database and then we not when we store it in database we can reuse it and do with it pretty much whatever we want after and yes guys this is how you create select box if we save now we go back refresh and this is how you create se select box and you see that user can select any value which is specific which he clicks on in this particular select box and you can have as many options as you want in this in these select boxes okay guys if you found this video useful leave a like under this video so my videos rate higher on youtube and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and see you in next video